Okay, uh, I'm going to give the Ruger Mark I an opportunity to hit a used paint can, that's a spray can, at 10 yards distance. It's going to be uh, supported shots using my trusty Winchester cheap shooting stick. Okay, I killed the can. Let's see if we can uh, put a couple more holes in it, assuming that I put a hole in it to begin with. And there you can see the failure of the O-ring. The last time I used it, which was actually the first time I used this, <laughs> first and last time, um, the O-ring, it started to split. Well, this session has pretty much finished that O-ring off. So I'm going to have to order a replacement and get this thing back up to uh, some semblance of full capacity. O-ring failure, see it sticking out of there? So I guess that's pretty much a blowout, so I'm just going to retire this for this uh, session now. I don't think, oh, okay, then I go and cock it. All right. So we'll just uh, fire it one more time. And, matter of fact, let's take the O-ring out, invert it so that it might not fly out of there and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just getting all kinds of funky sounds out of this thing now, so I think we'll just uh, call it quits for this guy for now. Okay, and being as the Magnum pellets are lead pellets hitting against this rather tough spray can. Um, about the only thing I could see in terms of deformations is a little divot right here. If you see it right there, right there in the middle, right where it says prolonged. And I guess that was contents. That's about the only place where I could see that this has been hit or damaged in any way. Yep, so for all intents and purposes, I'm going to state emphatically that that is where the pellet struck. Okay, thanks for watching, and any comments, concerns, questions, or observations are always welcome. Thanks, bye bye.